It's Aaron Hodge with you. We're joined with a special guest, Jeff from Streetheart. He's going to be talking with us about uh, the big concert that's going on in Russell tonight. That's right, Jeff. Welcome to the show. Nice to be here. It's different of doing a show live on location instead of... Well, on the radio. Yeah, we're kind of used to it. I've done it in many places. You know, you do them sometimes you do them in buses in the back alleys and stuff like that. So this is just this is home like anywhere else. So tell us, Jeff, how long have you been helping out to the Street Art? Uh, I joined Street Art in 1981. Uh, the first album I did with the band was the Street Art self entitled album, which had you know a lot of hits on what kind of love is this? Look in your eyes. Uh, this class is sweet one more time. So and the thing is, uh, I know that all those songs we yeah, play them all the time on the radio, and you know it just. Honored to be in the same room as someone that uh, makes that music, and obviously you've traveled around the world with uh, this music career. Yeah. Uh, what has been the highlight so far? Uh, I mean, there's been a lot. I mean, I think the highlight for me is just how long we've been able to go and how long our fans have stayed with us and supported the band. Uh, I mean, the fans are what keep uh, keep us going. I mean, without our fans, we wouldn't be going. So I think that's the, the highlight of my career is how the great fans that we have. I think. And it must be. How can you say you go all across the world meeting different people and that your life has affected them somehow with the music that you play mm-hmm. and they come out in droves to see you? Yeah. Is that bumping at all? Uh, well, kind of, but it's a, more of an appreciation for the fact that people will bring you, bring you into their lives, make your music part of their lives. And we didn't know when we started that our fan base, you know, that were in their early 20s at the time, would, the music would really become a way of life. I think for our generation, music is not just a passing thing that it was maybe for our parents when they were young, because it was a much harder thing of life. Music is a way of life, and we have a lot of people coming up that have been fans for 30, 35 years. They've raised children, and their kids come out and see the music, so it's, that's a really special thing. I can, Nothing we ever expect. I can kind of contest to that, because when I was a young whippersnapper, this is back in the 80s, uh-huh. that had this thing they call records. Uh-huh. Those yeah, those were big, round, sort of yeah. vinyl things there, kids. I didn't know much about them. I'm sure he did. Yeah, oh yeah, I, know, I have lots there. <laughs> and uh, he put the record on, yeah. the street art, and that would put me to bed, or Lobo would be another one that he'd put me to right. bed. Right, okay. And then when I finally got to realize a new appreciation of music through his street art, when I got to the radio station, oh, this is who I've been raised to. And you know, I played on the radio, and every time I hear it, I remember dad rocking me to bed. Yeah, you know, it's not a bed. Go to bed, go to bed. Rocking you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you get some whiskey, that would do. Yeah, okay, well, you know, bread water for you. It's you know, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, tell us, obviously you've been open for a few bands in the past. Yes. What was the crowning achievement? Uh, uh, open and stuff like that? Uh, well, uh, in the 90s I was working with a story and artist named Jimmy Barnes who opened up for the Golden Stones in, uh, in Europe. And that was a wonderful, amazing experience. And that was during the early lounge tour. And that was, a, that's, was, a, was, that's, you know, the Golden Stones. We exactly. the same. I mean, we've had a lot of great highlights with Street Heart uh, Touring and had done some wonderful shows over the years. I remember when we got back together, the band got back together after not playing together for 13 years in 1996 in Minnesota. No rehearsal, walked on the stage and played it in four bars. It was all about it. It was all about it. Was now, 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 something to quote for you here. I'm going to ask you a question to the radio. Okay. Where were you the first time you heard your song on the radio? I was in my home uh, listening to C Fox FM in uh, Vancouver and heard it on the radio. I knew it was coming and it was pretty exciting stuff to hear. It was really great. What kind of it, it's, it's very interesting to hear the different stories of where artists are. I was talking to a country artist, Shane Yellowberg. Yes. He was pumping his car full of gas and he came on the radio. Yeah. And he's going, that's my song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. It is. Yeah. So, um, crowning achievement so far. Has there been anything? Uh, well, I'd say when uh, Street Art got that the uh, Hall of Fame, that was really a special thing because uh, that award kind of shows it's not just like having a great record or a great song, but it's a body of work. Uh, so that's really important. That's a, an award that I really, really cherish. It's a really wonderful thing to have. So you've done a lot of great things, Music Hall of Fame, uh, great career. Where do you want to go from here? Um, we're, we're still playing bands. We, you know, the band is great. We're, we all get along. We're great friends. You know, Kenny's fantastic. His voice is brilliant. Uh, you know, it's the same as it's been for 30 years. It's amazing. The uh, band's great. Great bunch of guys to be with. And, uh, and, you know, like I said to Kenny, you, you tell us when you want to stop. <laughs> and so, and our fans have been great and they come out to support us. And uh, as long as we work hard, uh, it was, you know, it was really no way inside of this. Okay, what advice can you give to the young kids now that want to have long careers in the music industry? Uh, well, I mean, there's a quote that I read that says, it's never been easier to get started in the music 
business, but it's never been harder to actually get noticed. There's just so many people. Uh, uh, to create an instrument, you practice for 10,000 hours. You know, that's kind of what you need. There's always, they always talk about, you know, if you want to, want to be an expert at something, put 10,000 hours into it. It's, it's very difficult, but, you know, excellence always rises through. There's always going to be great young artists out there that come along. Uh, it doesn't matter when, it doesn't matter the state of the industry, excellence has a way of finding its way to the top. Just like that said, Scream always rises to the top. He's a smart man. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell the listeners? Uh, well, listen, thank you all for your support for the years. Uh, we hope you get out to see the band sometime soon. We hope we get to somewhere in your neighborhood so you can get out and see us. And, and thanks, and uh, we hope to see you for many more years to come. Jeff from Street.